Who would you like to inform us on? I would like to inform you on Martha J. Coston. Tell us about Martha Coston. Martha was born in 1826 and died in 1904. When she was 14 years old, she fell in love with Benjamin Coston, a skilled inventor. They agreed to wait on marriage until Martha was finished with school, but Mr. Coston was offered a job with the U.S. Navy. So they eloped and Martha was married at the age of 16. They moved to Washington, D.C. and had four sons by the time she was 21. In 1848, Mr. Constant passed away from the chemicals he had inhaled from the lab where he worked. Martha then moved herself and four of her sons to Philadelphia to be with family. Within two years of her husband's death, Martha lost her mother and two of her sons. What has she done to become famous? She invented the signal flares to supply the U.S. Navy during the Civil War. How did she get started with the signal flares? After her husband passed away, she found his notebook of plans to invent signal flares, so she decided to carry out his plans and make them herself. Trial and error a few times before getting the right combination, then she secured a patent. She supplied the Navy with the flares in 1859, then began to introduce them to England when the negotiations fell with the U.S., but then the Civil War broke out and the Navy needed a bigger supply. 600 ships with custom signal flares were needed. The patent had to be put in her husband's name because of the gender prejudice of this time. And then in 1871, it was placed in her name. Are the signal flares still used today? Yeah, the signal flares are still used today from ship to ship or ship to shore for a way to communicate. There are different colors that stand for different codes of communication. They can be seen 15 to 20 miles away.